If you're interested in learning more about Fox Farm Happy Frog like so many are, follow along as we fill out a scorecard and determine the best uses for this potting mix. So one of the first things that's important to consumers and myself as well is the price point. Now to have a level playing field in our product reviews, we always do this on price per cubic foot of soil. And what we paid for this happy frog soil was $17.15 per cubic feet. And based on our chart, that puts us at a score or a rating of 6.5. So Chris, great price point. What's the next thing a consumer's gonna, gonna do and notice? Yeah, so the next thing is really opening the bag for me, when I first, you know, smelled uh, this one, it was, you know, it has a real earthy smell, uh, not off-putting, pretty pleasant, felt, smells like healthy soil to me. I'm not sure what you first smelled. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at my number here, um, but just reminding myself, yeah, this has a really earthy, a really earthy smell, um, definitely, as you mentioned, not off-putting at all. I mean, that's a... That's a high seven, or that's a seven to me, but a high seven. Um, I really, really enjoy the smell of the uh, Fox Farm Happy Frog. Yeah. Where were you at on this one in terms of score? Uh, I gave this a nine. A nine? You know, and I definitely was thinking high seven. I could meet in the middle at a, at a strong eight. That's a really good smelling uh, bagged soil if you're yeah, comfortable with that. It smells like healthy earth soil. Perfect. Um, let's go ahead and pull some out and kind of talk about the look and the feel. And I can talk about filling up the container and my experiences there. What did you see when you first, you know, looked at this soil? And one of the first things I noticed is soil color, um, and and you know this is a really dark, rich soil, uh, relatively small organic particles, which I appreciated. Um, I'm not a fan of overbearing amounts of perlite, and there is some perlite in here that's noticeable, but it's not overwhelming the look. So I really, really like um, the look and feel of this soil. I again, kind of similar to smell. I'm I'm right at a seven ish, maybe a little better. And when I was filling the container, it was easy in the hands. Um, it had a great density that compacted re re really well, or when I say compacted well, I mean compacted to the point where it hasn't sunk over time. Right. Um, so I liked the look and feel of the Fox Farm Happy Frog. Yeah, the first thing I noticed is the color. It's got that dark, rich color. It feels like, you know, real healthy soil. It does have the perlite in it, but it's not, you know, overbearing in the in the mix. There's a good blend of fines and medium texture mm -hmm. um, components to it. Yeah, just with the, the, the look of it, that dark soil with those um, fine textured components with the medium texture, um, I went ahead and on look and feel and rated this as an eight. As an eight, um, meet in the middle at seven and a half then. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we're doing good on price. We're at six and a half there. We're doing good on smell. We agreed at eight. Uh, look and feels at seven and a half. Now, I think it's time to look at what's feeding that plant and that's the nutrient level. So maybe I'll let the my soil guy talk nutrients. Yeah, so we ran the mysoil test on this prior to planting, got the results back, and uh, this has phenomenal levels of, of most all nutrients, a little bit low in micronutrients, um, but you know highly sufficient levels of nitrogen um, and all the other macronutrients as well. So um, overall, uh, this scored very well on the nutrient side uh, for me. I actually rated this on the nutrient side as a nine. Wow, and you know, I rated this as a nine um, as well. Um, the nutrient density score through the MySoil test was at 88%, which is just a fantastic score. Very few limiting factors here. As Chris mentioned, just a handful of micronutrients might have bumped that score up, um, may have helped with plant growth and development a little bit, but um, just a really highly nutritious uh, soil. So um, absolutely a nine. I think it's also notable that this is a fully organic soil and it is enhanced with both mycorrhizal fungi, which can help with nutrient uptake or absorption, um, as well as humic acid, which has biostimulant properties. So some really nice value added uh, to this Fox Farm Happy Frog uh, as well. Mm -hmm. So I think the next metric that we have or the next question that we really have to ask ourselves is, okay, we've put it in the container, now will it grow plants? Um, what would you say, Chris? Uh, we grew plants. <laughs> we, we definitely grew plants. So yeah, overall, um, this soil performed really well as a, just a standalone, put plants in the soil and, and see if they grow. Um, really good biomass here on the tomatoes as well as the lettuce. Um, 
we're already um, producing flowers here, so we uh, will be producing fruit. So overall, really good biomass, um, not too high in nitrogen to where we didn't have fruit production. Mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, yeah, we, we definitely grew plants in this soil. Great, and so what score do you apply to that then? Uh, I gave this on the on the will it grow I gave it a nine and I only gave it a nine because um, you know in past trials we have seen you know a little bit better and so I we didn't quite give it a, a 10 or a nine and a half you know there was a you know a little bit of stuff here and there so yeah really good but just just below a 10 and you know I'm looking here I was at a nine for the exact same reasons so now we've got um, all of our scores we've come to an agreement on our scores there and that overall rating is really at an eight, um, which is exceptionally high for trials and product reviews like this. So um, with an overall rating of eight, I'm tickled. Uh, what do we think the best use is here? Yeah, that's a really good overall rating um, based on other uh, products that we've evaluated. Uh, best use for me was really, you know, really a complete grow. You could fill a pot, uh, put plants in there, fill a raised bed, and be pretty confident that you're going to be able to grow a, a crop in that soil. Yeah, and just uh, saying the same thing a different way, my notes say the best use is, man, this is just ready to plant. Um, so put this in the ground, get some plants in it, and get to growing. I think it says that, maybe. <laughs> I think you're right. So this this is true to marketing. Like this is a ready to plant soil. Um, if you need to know before you grow, know that the Fox Farm Happy Frog is ready for you. We sure appreciate you following this Know Before You Grow series and this product review. You guys know what to do now. Comment below what you'd like to see next. Like, subscribe, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon in the lab.